All right, so we're headed out to Sand Hollow State Park for a Toyota Sienna van that's stuck in the sand. So some of you have been asking for a little bit of backstory. Why are these people driving these vehicles where they're at? And there's a lot of reasons for it. Some of the people watching this video become very angry at the people that get stuck and call them names and, and just say, you know, really mean things about another human being that I think is unwarranted. We all make mistakes and we make decisions that we regret. These are pretty small life mistakes that these people are making. There is different skill levels for getting around in the sand. So that's part of the reason that one person will become stuck and another person won't. But if somebody has less skill, they'll see tire tracks or they may even watch somebody before them drive through this. And they, they may not understand all of the physics that are involved that make one vehicle make it through where another one won't. So I'm sure that the people we're headed, headed to today, they come here on Saturday, they came here with their family, they want to get down by the water. You don't want to, you know, you want to get your vehicle close to where you're going to be barbecuing and fishing or whatever. As you can see, Sand Hollow State Park is very popular, very busy. Um, all summer long, especially on the weekend, it's going to be packed like this. You can see there's people down there in the sand that they either know what they're doing or they're going to be getting some help getting out later. Um, a lot of them are going to help each other. I, I would say for every one vehicle I pull out of here, there's got to be, I don't know, 500 or maybe even a thousand that get stuck. So you got that motorhome down there. It's going to have to have some help getting out. Somebody's going to do it. So maybe that guy right there will help them. There's a lot of these guys, local guys that have the equipment they need to get these out. So another thing that happens, I get a lot in the comments is, um, at, you know, some solution that would have help the person to not get stuck and that may be true and they'll ask why doesn't anybody do this and the answer is most people do um, you're only going to be seeing the ones that don't that's all I can film I only get called out for the people that need help if they have the equipment and the knowledge to get themselves unstuck they're gonna do it I'm never gonna get a phone call you're never gonna see it on a video so this is the sand that they get stuck in right here. See, we're in two wheel drive, we're really struggling to get through this. How soft that is. Oh, 
So I got a call for a Yukon that is stuck at Sand Hollow. He thinks he's broke his transmission or transfer case. So we're gonna go see if we can get him to the road and then I'll have Trevor come in with a rollback and take him to a repair shop. So it's hot out there. It's a hundred and, that'll be a hundred, four hundred and five. Got a little bit of a south wind and it's like a blast furnace. So. Try not to die out there today. Who's our cameraman? Hey, what's up?
you say your, your transmission is out? So he was driving up through the sand, he was doing good, and then uh, he smelled transmission fluid and looks like he broke a tranny cooler line up by the radiator. So just got to get him to a shop and get that fixed and he'll be back on the road I believe. Yeah. 